Hello guys, I'm Samantha and today we are going to talk about the marker. But before we start, I'd like to remind you, if you're interested in joining to my VIP Telegram group where I share all my trades, you can text me directly so I personally answer you and add you to my private group with signals. And please don't forget that there is a limit of just 100 people, so you need to be quick to get there. Today we have the marker, in fact it's based on comparing the maximum of the current bar with the minimum of the previous one. It's hard to say if the maximum of the previous bar is lower, then the corresponding difference is fixed. If the previous maximum is higher than the previous maximum or it is on the same level, then a value equal to zero is fixed. What else can I say? The differences obtained in this way are summed up for a certain number of periods later. So what else can I say? In general, this indicator is used as a filter. At the same time, it is suitable both for a counter trend in trading and for working on a trend where the signal is formed at the end of a corrective moment. Also, the demarker can be used with a white flat. These signals are formed at the boundaries of the range. Okay, so let's figure out how to use the marker in trading. For example, when the trend changes. It is confirmed by the entry of the oscillator line in the overbought or oversold zone we have from below. So let's pay attention to it. And also the only one setting is periods for one minute. If we trade, then we make a period of seven below, it makes no sense. So we will have a huge number of false signals here, here for example. But here you can use it in your own way. Okay, so we'll figure out that out later. So now we're getting into a deal, right? Well, for example, look, I've allocated a zone here specifically. We will analyze this a little later, but now it can still be used for other purposes. For example, look, and here we have an exit to the oversold zone, the so-called. So it's below 30%. 30 is just written here. 370703, So we will call. So let's go down next and we are expecting a reversal. Look, we have a signal formed in a good way and at the moment of closing the candle above one of the levels, that is either here or here from below or from above. Look, for example, here we have a U-turn exit that is here. While it is behind the red line we have not yet set, the red line intersects, the candle is formed completely. The countdown of the next candle is already starting, so guys carefully, and only then in fact it is a signal to enter. But for example it was obvious to me that there was an increase here after this candle, because we had a rebound here, and he is always going up. That is, but in general a signal is formed to close candles crossing one of the levels, so what else? Also trading by trends, it seems to be formed from a series of signals that allow, as it were, to achieve in the course of market movement, gaining thousands of orders. It is also generally possible to answer when the marker line goes beyond the overbought and oversold zones, as an option too. Well, for example, look here, here we have a candle fixed, you can put it on the increase, it will be for a minute. That is, we have at least two more candles, that is the end. The end of the second minute could close not profitably, so, but here you need to understand yourself. So what else? Um, well, that's just the same, we come to this point to sort it out. You see, I have a rectangle here between two purple lines, green on the top, green on the bottom, it doesn't matter. Here we have a rectangle and we will analyze it. This is such a so-called range trading, so in general this requires a fairly wide range. This is the maximum that I could find quickly so that we could sort out this moment. Yes, it's not perfect, but let's just figure it out now. Let's talk about everything, at least that 40-60 points probably need a range to have a, a range, so well, there is less here. Let's figure out how the whole thing works here in general. By the first three points, so for me, this is the first point here. Let's highlight it here. First point time, okay, second point, two 
and the third point we have it okay so i don't take three up here here there was a breakdown on the roll back and all the candles roll inside nether bounce back from this level that is we identify three points directly to the zone in which it moves next there is a selection of boundaries which is also confirmed by the d marker so that is we have a u-turn every time here is a u-turn here and a u-turn here here okay so that's it that's the whole logic that is to break through and we had to raise here what we recently dismantled in the same way in general this escalator is one of the most popular escalators in trading the marker is considered a leading indicator of the so-called so that is its readings can predict price changes even before it is visible on the chart okay so this is the fun of this indicator in general this indicator turned out to be so effective that it is included in the set of standard indicators of most trading platforms including the pocket option so in general how does the oscillator work the time of development they were analogous okay this is ray we all know the stochastic we all know but they did not suit the developer of this indicator itself since they only take into account only the closing prices so the solution to this problem was the demarker indicator it is based on comparing the maximum of the current bar with the maximum of the previous one if the maximum of the previous bar is lower then the corresponding difference is fixed so what else can i say um in general this is a classic oscillator that is it has a fixed scale and it changes the value from 0 to 1 or to 100 there are modificators in which the scale is changed to a range from minus 100 to plus 100 so well it's on other platforms what else can be interesting to tell so in general it turned out to be so versatile and indicator so that is it can be used even in summer while there will be signals they will be formed as the borders range so let's figure out how to apply the marker in trading first is that we have a trend change trend change occurs when the oscillator line leaves the overbought or oversold zone that is on 0703 or how it is here with us this is green red 7030 so now let's deal with the signals the most important thing for us that is we have received a lot of information now but somehow we didn't understand how to trade let's figure out how to trade let's start with some buy signals and buy signals are formed in several cases when the demarker line exits the oversold zone with what it is considered to be formed at the close of the candle again as a signal is formed at the close of the candles this candle appeared came out there and when it is closed then the signal is formed when the resistance like breaks yes but it is very important to build it according to the extremes of the demarker line itself well also at the breakdown of the resistance lines there are still some there with convergence diversions that is we don't use them yet because it's too complicated and this is such a huge piece of information that is worthy of individual videos in the future so let's now have a look uh, at some signals for sale so there are only four options crossing the border of the overbought zone from top to bottom that is not when we break through the red but when we are out of the overbought zone above zero seven and move into the oversold zone so we remember this and the information of graphic patterns that is figures are our favorite uh well again this is information divergence but more on that later well the breakdown of the support line also marked all four even four in my opinion yeah four as for advice tips let's delete it all when working with the dim marker it is advisable to adhere to several rules not rely on the signals of only the oscillator itself the developer of this indicator himself worked with it on daily charts not on minute candlesticks that is in scalping this indicator it's like um you know here you are sure of something but to be even more sure you ask your closest ones if your opinion agrees with the opinion of your loved ones when you think correctly most likely well that is it just shows us and we use the trend because in scalping the trend is the main thing and so well let's bargain and what else you don't need to figure it out for a long time to have an update here on the site by the way it will be added soon already forex on the platform cool cool i like it so we don't forget 
that uh, there may be counter signals here. That is, the counter trend is usually in all its videos with scalpings. I am talking about one breakable rule, we never bet against a trend. The dim marker can already give a signal against the trend and this is one of those indicators that can do this. There are several of them, I will always talk about such indicators, that is we often bet as I for example see that the price has grown a lot, yes, with the previous downward trend. Well, here we will present, uh, do not think that this is a one minute time frame, imagine that this is a large long chart that we are considering separately. Here I see for example, uh, let's imagine that this is a downward trend and increase a sharp jump. I usually say that after a sharp jump an adjustment reversal follows and so on. The marker can also say that the adjustment will not be for some time. We can try to bet at your own risk. Again, the indicators do not guarantee us anything, so they help us and everyone let's look. Okay, so trade on a decrease. Okay, the deal is open and look. Great, a clear plus, but there was just a strong downward movement. That is, the trend is quite strong, so we have formed right on the input indicator. That is, we have now appeared above the zero three line, and from the level we, we trade on an increase. It tells us to trade, and we will do so. It's a plus somewhere, but it's really like that. That is, again, we do not pay attention directly to the indicator. That's where you need to trade on a downgrade. If we have a trend, yeah, we have a downward trend, we will trade it on decrease. Here too, respectively, until it has grown, we trade everything on a decrease. And let's wait, so okay. Something incredible is happening. You turn right on the indicators too. So in totals we have three cones in a row, but I'm taking all my hands, one, two, three, four, five, and I didn't have time to make another deal. I had to open six deals. So if there is a rollback, we will trade another one, so five deals. So in fact, we lose 300, trade 500 and 405. Okay, we have a plus going here. Everything is fine, so we cover everything simple without much profit. Great, so well, blocked. I do understand, we have it again. That is 300, 400, 500 per delivery. We have 405 dollars, plus we lose 300. Everything is perfectly covered. Well, there is here you can put another wonderful situation here. Um, we have a dim marker leveled out. We will also trade it down here, so let's see. Trading won't be easy. It seems to be a minus two, and here's another situation we quickly look at. So hourly time frame, yes, a downward trend. Well, you can trade two deals, so let's watch. Great, so let's see something else. We have an interesting situation. We have rebound from 0, 3. Now we will wait until the candle is fully formed. If our rebound continues, it will be cool. We will just bet on an increase. Let's clarify the trend here. Yes, there is a great upward trend here. So let's wait another 14 seconds for the rebound. Still, you need to make sure of this. Generally interesting. So the same counter signal was formed here. We just didn't have time for it to be promoted so here i'm trading in a counter signal right so look as i said at the beginning of the video we have a strong trend for raising rates so we have on a bet on a raise but our demarca showed that it is necessary to stand on the decline and so it went down harder
trade. So this is a plus and what we have on trade. Today we made quite a lot of signals. They don't even fit here or something. Uh, although we had minuses, we had pluses, but in any case, we came out with a good plus on the balance. Here he's such an indicator. So his is just an assistant. It just can be contracted and clarified so as not to enter the counter signal not to get. For example, we could trade the previous trade according to the trend. What did we trade? Where is this indicator needed for? So let's find out this now. Look, how do I usually trade? I go to the hourly time frame and see a strong upward trend and bet on an increase. This is where I wanted to bet on a promotion. That is, we put our closure here. We put it here. Okay, we close it here. Up here, they could have tried to put it here or here. And the marker tells us that we need to put it down here, that the chart will go down and it went down. And that way we could avoid the wrong deal. So that's what this indicator is for. Okay, and I have a big thank you for everyone and see you in next videos.